Guess what this video is about? Windows 8. Uh, but we're also looking at a new feature in Windows 8, not a feature, but an application that came pre-installed, uh, and that is the Stocks application. So let's go ahead and open her up. And this is what she looks like. Um, so very clean interface. Uh, we have our uh, stock symbols up here, uh, and then we have a graph, very nice graph. We can change it from week view. Oh, well, nothing there. Oh yeah, it's the beginning of the week. I forgot about that. So there's probably nothing posted yet. Uh, and then we have month view and year view. So that's that. Uh, we have change uh, and some other uh, stocky stuff. Last trade. Uh, what it opened at the range of today and 52 weeks. And, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, and then, over on the right, we have some news concerning that company. Uh, so, uh, I have Apple as my uh, selected uh, ticker right now. And so, it's showing apple Lee news uh, concerning economics. So, um, some of the other tickers I have are Microsoft the Dow Jones, and NASDAQ. Um, so, how you can add stocks, you may ask. You just right-click anywhere in this greenish area, and then you'll notice a little green bar popped up at the bottom. We can add stock, delete stock, and pin stock, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, first, let's add uh, some stock. So, uh, we'll, we'll delete Apple, actually. So, I'll delete it. So, I select it, and then I delete it. Now, we'll add stock. So, I select add and I insert the symbol AAPL and add and bam it adds very very fast uh, now pin I'll, I'll talk about uh, the metro uh, area first so uh, you may notice that this is a live icon like many of the other uh, Windows 8 icons um, you may notice it's scrolling through some of my uh, stock symbols. So right now it was at NASDAQ, now it's at Dow Jones. And it shows their uh, daily change, last trade, last trade time, and uh, what it opened at. So uh, it's scrolling through all of those. However, what if there's this one stock that I want to keep track of all the time on Metro? However, when I open the stocks app, I want to have the different stocks to be able to choose from. Uh, there's a very easy way of doing that, and that is PIN. Um, so I'll select AAPL. Uh, say I want to keep a very close eye on Apple stock. So I'll right click on the green, I'll click PIN stock, and then it'll ask what I want to name the pinned item, and I'll, just, I'll name it Apple. And we'll PIN to start. And there we are. And we go to Metro. And you'll notice another icon appeared down here. And it is the AAPL stock uh, symbol. And then down here it says Apple, uh, telling me that this is Apple stock. Uh, that is the name that I typed in earlier. But it's not scrolling. Like the stock live icon is just staying on AAPL. Uh, so I can monitor Apple's uh, change the last trade and what it opened at. I can monitor that info. And then when I click on that, it'll bring me right to AAPL. Uh, say I was at NASDAQ. Whoops, sorry about that, guys. Did that hurt? I'm sorry. Yeah, go to the hospital if you need to. Uh, that was a very, very big uh, tremor there. Uh, so we were in NASDAQ. I click AAPL. It brings me right to AAPL. Um, so if there's any stock that you want to closely manage, you could pin it to Metro so that you can uh, easily see where your uh, stock or one stock symbol is doing uh, or how it's doing uh, over you know a very short amount of time uh, because you may not see it in your uh, live ticker so you may not think to click on it and check it and yeah so <laughs> that is the uh, pinned item and you can remove that by right clicking it and then down here select remove and then the pinned title or tile will be removed from your PC. Remove, and it disappears. So there it is. Uh, so that is basically a stocks app. Uh, like I said, we have news here, which actually, uh, unfortunately, it does not use RSS. Um, so it'll bring you, well, it does use RSS to catch the news, but then it brings you directly to uh, Internet Explorer. This is the Internet Explorer Metro app. Um, it brings you to Internet Explorer as soon as you click on the news. Um, 
It's unfortunate that it doesn't work like the news application, uh, which I actually showed you already in a previous video. Go check that out, the news application. Uh, how, and how it displays the news is very unique and very nice. Um, and it's unfortunate that the Stocks app does not do that um, also. So uh, we'll see uh, if there's any changes made. Um, but as for now, when you click on the news story, it brings you to Internet Explorer to read the story. So that is the Stocks app. Tell me what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Also, I'm producing a lot of Windows 8 videos that didn't make any grammatical sense. I'm producing many Windows 8 videos. So uh, make sure you subscribe uh, to me on YouTube. Also, follow me on Google Plus and Twitter. Uh, in order to get to those profiles, the easiest way is to go to my website, MikeBed96.com, which is my YouTube channel. My YouTube handle, if you haven't uh, caught that already, MikeBed96, just put a .com at the end of that. Uh, and there will be big buttons there for Google Plus and Twitter, so you can real easily get to those profiles and follow me there. That is the best way that you can find the content that I'm putting out online. Um, also, subscribing helps too. And you can thumbs up the video if you liked it, because if I don't know you liked it, then I may stop producing Windows 8 videos. That is a threat. Take that as a threat. All right. If you don't like it, I will never make a Windows 8 video again, and you will have no idea what Windows 8 is.